it's a miracle. All I could think is it's a miracle and it just went time for this cat to go. With the heart of a fighter and the strength of a lion, this little fella wasn't supposed to live, but wasn't ready to die. I mean, he had to been touched by the Lord or something. I mean, I can't explain it. When people hear the story of Bart the Cat, it sounds like a tall tale, feline fantasy, if you will. But sometimes the truth really is stranger than fiction. The cat was buried, the cat was dead, my neighbor brought the cat back to my house. Ellis Hudson witnessed what he calls a miracle. His cat came back from the dead after being hit by a car and buried nearby. The cat was really dead. The cat was absolutely dead. The cat was cold. The cat was stiff. The cat ain't had no movement, no nothing. Or so he thought. As the family was grieving, Bart dug his way out of his own grave and came crawling back home. Ellis's neighbor saw him first. There he is, just purring and looking up at me, all dirty, and I'm like, this cat is dead. <laughs> I know he was dead. I... And I said, Miss Dustin, Bart is dead. And she said, Bart is not dead. Here's Bart right here. The cat was alive all right, but in bad shape with a broken jaw, a cracked palate, and deep wounds. Doctors at the Humane Society of Tampa Bay brought him back to life. So miracles happen? Yes, miracles do happen. A local cat is growing into a national celebrity tonight. This is Bart. His owner, Ellis Hudson, says Bart was hit by a car and thought he was dead, so he buried him. Well, Bart either is a not dead or he became a zombie and dug his way out of a grave and showed up on a neighbor's porch. Get this, five days later. Bart was pretty beat up from his injuries, so Hudson rushed him to the Humane Society for surgery. The vet says his jaw was broken, but he will lose an eye. But incredibly, Bart is expected to recover. Right, well, he's affectionately known as Zombie Cat. That's all because his original owner tried to bury him alive. But today, a great end to this story. The Now's Adam Weiner with the costly battle that saved this cat's life. You can barely tell what Bart the cat went through just from looking at him today. This cat had a spirit like no other, and he was determined to live. This was Bart in 2015. Hit by a car, he was presumed dead and buried. Five days later, Bart clawed out of his grave, earning the nickname Zombie Cat. It was touch and go. He almost died. The first couple weeks, we, they, our vets were giving us a 50-50 chance that he would make it. Bart was on a feeding tube for seven weeks, and he lost an eye. Between the surgery and the intensive care, the Humane Society spent just under $11,000 to keep Bart alive. Well, how many cats can crawl out of a grave, right? So <laughs> he deserves it. And we did get donations for his care. Nearly $9,000 donated by people from all over the world. But the fight to save the zombie cat didn't end there because the Humane Society CEO decided Bart's original owners didn't make for a good home. I couldn't keep him. I mean, technically, I should yes. have returned the cat to him. I just made a decision as the CEO of our organization that I couldn't in good conscience do that. So they kept him, and the owner sued. The legal battle cost the shelter about $5,000. You know, many, many depositions, court battles back and forth. And that battle went on for 20 months until this week when the two sides settled out of court. The shelter is giving the original owner over $5,000 so that they could guarantee... He loves to be petted. Bart gets a good home. He has a little feline sister and a feline brother, and they get along amazing. Amazingly. Valerie signed the adoption papers today. Just want him to live a, a long, healthy, happy, quiet life. And one last number for you. Bart now weighs twice as much as he did when he was first rescued. In Tampa, Adam Weiner for the Now Tampa Bay. One, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is an elite Easter egg hunt. This is a tribute to Stephen King from the elites, which means Stephen went through and did exactly what I'm showing you. This has some big names all throughout the entire series, including Stephen King and Jack Nicholson and many other people that have been in his life. Matt Groening. Many, many people are involved in this production. Because obviously, that's what this is. 
This cat was not run over. This whole thing is a publicity stunt. Based on the cartoon Simpsons. Right here. Bart gets hit by a car. Bart becomes a zombie. It's also connected to people like Cat in the Hat, Dr. Seuss. So that's what all this is about. But this is Freemasonry. This is what it is. That it isn't just conspiracies and it's not just just propaganda satanic witchcraft it's other things it's it's many things so this gives you kind of an idea of what this is start at number one two three four because you can't just start at number seven you won't know what's going on you won't get it you have to start at the beginning So I also want to add something to this, that while you're watching this, and they're all in order, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven so far, I've got a lot more coming, they're not here yet, but I want to point out that while you're watching this, not only is it fun to find these things, because there's so many Easter eggs and they're scattered everywhere, but you're also learning, you're learning how they do it. You're learning the gematria, what it is, how it works, why they use it. They're, they're talking to each other. They're communicating with each other. They're sending messages. And this one is a tribute. And it's got to be one of the most amazing gematria experiences I've ever found. You're not supposed to know how to decode the news. That's not for the sheep. You're not supposed to know this. All right, They do that. They are the Grand Master Elites, not you. They do this. You just believe what they tell you, and that's your job. You're not supposed to know how to decode the news. And that is exactly what I'm showing you. That is 100% what I'm showing you. How to decode the news. Because while they're giving you these stories, they're programming you. You just don't know it because it's a number and you don't understand the numbers. You'd never cared. You were never told to care. So you don't. But this, I hope that you guys enjoy it because not only is it a lot of hard work, it really is, but I also had a lot of fun making this one because, I mean, we're talking about the Joker, Batman, The Simpsons, come on, Christine, everybody loves Christine. Dr. Seuss, the cat in the hat, come on, man, get with the program. But even though I don't care for the Basins, this was pretty freaking cool. And I have a lot of respect for Stephen King, so that said, I think that this is not something that should be hidden, this is something that should be given to the people. Because this man changed a lot of lives. You might not understand what they're doing. That's why I'm teaching. I'm a teacher. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm doing this for you. That's why I'm on Roxy Tube right now. Yeah, Roxy. And I'm producing these videos that are not on YouTube because YouTube keeps stabbing me in the back. They keep going with terrorism. And I don't do terrorism. I expose psychopaths, and YouTube protects them, and so they attacked me, and I'm here. But this is what I do, and this is actually a very special thing that's not on YouTube. I did not put this on YouTube. That is only for here. So enjoy it, learn Gematria, because this is what they're using against you.